camera, right? <clears throat> well, good afternoon. Heading back to Pinehurst. I got to get my wife some more stuff. It's kind of a Cecilia update. I thank you all for the comments, the congratulations and all that. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Cecilia took a turn last night. Unfortunately, because she is 36 weeks. And uh, she three weeks early. She's not a preemie, but she's right in between preemie and where she's supposed to be in the uh, 24 But, uh, yeah. So they went to go do a car seat test, which is quite one of those. It's as low as that pager goes. <clears throat> listening to the sheriff band. But, uh, <clears throat> they couldn't even start the test because they're, uh, O2 levels. That's how much oxygen you're getting at room, normal room temperature or whatever. And, uh, they kept dropping down to 85. So now sh the wife is, uh, released. But the baby's in NICU. And, uh, they're watching her. On oxygen, her oxygen level has come back up a lot. And, uh, but, you know, been a rough night. Did get some sleep, not too well. And, uh, right now, the wife's with her. Like I said, I gotta go over here and get some stuff and spend a little time with the other kids. <clears throat> I don't know, I worry. I worry different than most people do. Um, that's part of my anxiety issues. So, you know, I got all this going through my head. I'm worried about my wife. I'm worried about Cecilia. I'm actually worried about my job because, you know, this is unforeseen time off. And, you know, I just worry. That's just me, you know. And uh, I talk to my aunt. And most of it, I've been just an emotional wreck trying to hold it in. But you know, you don't want to see nothing happen bad to your wife. And most of all, you don't want to see nothing bad to happen to your kids. And this is something new to me, you know. Because it's the first time, you know. It pushes that emotional breakdown to a new level that I've never felt before. It's not even as bad as when my grandpa passed away. This is the worst. I'm, Trying to be strong and keep it hidden is hard. Because you know you're the man, you're supposed to be strong and not really show emotion to what goes through the guy's head. And it's been really hard to hold it back. I had been up for a while this morning, I had actually asked for the chaplain. We went in and we prayed for Cecilia and uh, had a little prayer for her and all that, but uh, she will probably be in the hospital for about another week before they release her, maybe less, hopefully less, so, and then, then, then I, you know, I got this financial issue going on, this just adds to it, it, it makes it worse, because Cecilia don't have a insurance, and the GoFundMe their account, what is for the, uh, to help us cover the cost, you know, and, not unforeseen, but I know some of you naysayers are like, well, hey, you have another kid. Well, you know what? The way I see that, that is, uh, that's God's plan. It's not mine. It's not my wife's. It's nobody else's say. If God wants us to have another kid, he's going to bless us with another kid, and I ain't going to question it. Never, I never question it. It's in God's plan, you know, like everything else. But like my mom said, I've been... I've been this low before and I've always pulled out of it, but it, this time it just feels like it's taking longer than normal situations of like financial burden. I've been here before, I've done it, I've pulled out of it, I go up, I go down. It's like climbing a mountain. You go up, you go down, you go up, you go down. And, and uh, it's, it's just all the stress and everything, you know. I feel like I left my job down because of because of this and it's really really getting to me and I know I just need to step back and take a big breath and everything will be alright 
I know that. Anyways, this is just an update with Cecilia. I'm hoping everything, you know, like I said, you really don't want to see nothing bad happen to your family, your wife, your kids. The most, they didn't mean the world. And I feel like things are out of control right now. It's another part of my anxiety. And the bipolar depression, things get out of control and you don't feel like you have control of it and stuff. That's what I feel like right now. I have no control of anything. Anyways, we, we set up a uh, Walmart registry. I'll put the link down below oh, if I remember. After this video goes up, our GoFundMe, the link will be down if you want to help out. It, it would be, I hate to beg, but it will be greatly appreciated. And, uh, you know, people go through their hard times and we're just at that point. All that, so we're just a sheriff. Anyways, I gotta get off the exit here, so y'all be safe. Give us trucker space. God bless you. We'll see you on the next vlog.